Hi right, everybody, what is going on? It is your boy C4 here. Today we continue with my 32 team breakdown for the upcoming 2014 NFL Draft. If you didn't check out my last video, it's about the Chicago Bears, the Bears, so make sure you check that shit out. Today we're talking about the Pittsburgh Steelers, who last year finished with an 8-8 record. Uh, for the MVP, I give it to the wide receiver Antonio Brown. Uh, don't really want to admit this, but I had him picked up off waivers in fantasy football last year. And then I dropped him. He had, uh, you know, like two average weeks before he exploded for 110 receptions, 1,499 yards, and eight total touchdowns. So uh, I can't really think of many fantasy regrets over the last couple of years. That has got to be one of them. I'm uh, looking at their draft from last year. Uh, don't really know where to stand on it. Um, first round, they took Jarvis Jones, the linebacker from Georgia, but he did not really pay out. That guy's a freak athlete, but... He only finished the year with 40 tackles, one sack. Now, I'm not 100% sure if he was injured or something like that, but look at those stat lines. That is not really that good for, not not alone for being just a first-round pick, but for being the guy that had so much hype like Jarvis Jones. Uh, the second round, they got Le'Veon Bell, the running back out of Michigan State. We all know how that went. He's the now their new number one. He went off. He might have just, did he even get 1,000 yards? He must have got pretty close. Uh, very, very talented running back there. And third round, they get wide receiver Marcus Wheaton from Oregon State. I can expect him moving up the depth chart now with Emmanuel Sanders. Now leaving to Denver. Um, so those are good signings. Uh, looking at free agency, uh, they lost definitely more than they gained, I would say. Uh, but definitely, it was pretty close. They lost Lamar Woodley, who's definitely a staple of their defense, but he was getting paid too much. Uh, they lost wide receiver Emmanuel Sanders. Uh, probably been Big Ben's not too happy about that. And they lost safety Ryan Clark, which is, uh, you know, that's gonna be. I think he went to Arizona, maybe. I don't know if he's still a free agency, but a free agent. But uh, you know, you're losing a veteran presence back there. Probably one of the team captains. Ryan Clark can still can still perform. Probably just couldn't, uh, you know, meet on the contract agreement. So there's two two especially big names on the defense that are gone. They did add safety Mike Mitchell from uh, the Carolina Panthers. I like that signing. I want him to go to Philly. But uh, something you got to be careful of with Mike Mitchell is that he was kind of a bust at Oakland, and then he started to do good under uh, Sean McDermott's defense there in Carolina. you got to be a little bit wary that he wasn't a product of his environment and product of his defensive coach. Then again, he's going to Dick LeBeau, so you got to see what that stands. And they also got wide receiver Lance Moore from the New Orleans Saints. So I think they kind of cover their ass on losing Emmanuel Sanders and Ryan Clark. But Lamar Woodley, is Jarvis Jones good enough? Did he do enough last year to really say that this guy is the future? I don't know yet. But looking at the draft, I think it's a pretty obvious going by how far or how everyone's been drafted so far. I think they're going to go with Darquise Denard, the cornerback from Michigan State. Uh, looking at the current 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 cornerback depth, they have uh, Cortez Allen, William Gay, and Ike Taylor. Uh, both William Gay and Ike Taylor are you know on the wrong side of 30, and Cortez Allen, I don't, he might be even up there. I don't know his exact age. Never really heard of that guy. So getting a guy that's a future, it, like almost an, I can almost guarantee he's going to be an instant starter and Darquez Denard is going to be, you know, the most obvious pick. I have no one else here. No explanation. They're going with Darquez Denard uh, to instantly improve the secondary. Imagine what Dick LeBeau can do with a guy, a good physical corner like Darquez Denard. That's going to be pretty good for you Steeler fans. So let me know in the comment section below, though, if you're a Steeler fan or just a general fan that wants to bitch. Do you think Darquez Denard going to the Steelers is a good pick, bad pick? Let me know. Uh, as always, smash the like button. Make sure you subscribe to Beast Mode TV for more of the 32 Team Breakdown. Till next time, it is your boy C4 saying peace out. And Myers is in the slot receiver role for this upcoming snap. Eli Manning takes it from the gun. Looks to his left. Thrown.